Close. Okay, we're ready. Well, welcome to the uh, Anderson Township Board meeting. Today is uh, April 10th, 2023, and uh, it's just a couple minutes after 6 o'clock. And if we could stand for the pledge, please. Ed, you're our veteran. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, this is the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Just keep standing, please. Dear Father, we stand before you this afternoon, one day after the holiest day, Easter. We gather together and ask for you to guide us as we make decisions in your honor. We pray for those who lost lives in Nashville and again in Louisville. We pray for their families and grieve at their losses. And we pray for Linda's uncle that just passed. In the Lord's name we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay, we have roll call, please. Yes. Karen Geibel, here. Linda Garrett, here. Ed Brakefield, here. Mary Frost, excused. Lori Fisher, here. Bennett, President, Supervisor Pearson, here. Okay, any announcements? No. Okay, department reports as usual, available in my office. Um, who wanted the agenda? I would like to add, um, due to the time constraint, uh, approval of two Oxford Addison um, board appointees as number seven. I'll make a motion to approve the agenda as amended. I'll second. Okay, we have a motion and we have a second. Any discussion? Around hearing it, can we have a roll call, please? Yes. Linda Garrett. Yes. Karen Gobble. Yes. Ed Rakefield. Yes. Lori Fisher. Yes. Bennett. Yes. Supervisor Pearson. Yes. We'll move on to the consent agenda. We have the minutes for the March 20th, 2023. And, well, I'll do that in a second. Um, the March bills affirm authorize the 2023 gravel program, resolution adopting the participation of 2023 West Nile virus prevention, affirm the budget amendment as listed affirm the rate on the resolution at $16 per hour for general labor and minutes rates with immediate effect, resolution designating Ascension Occupational Medicine or Ascension ER as a township workers comp provider. At this time, I also have closed session minutes that I'm going to pass out that will be included for approval of the consent. And then when you're done reading, just pass them down, please. Do have a comment on these minutes. Maybe it's just a typo, but on the last sentence that says maybe instead of maybe, should be corrected. Gotcha, thank you. I'll make a motion to approve the consent agenda. I'll second. And that includes the closed session minutes? Yes. Thank you. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Not hearing any kind of roll call, please. Yes. Ed Brakefield. Yes. Linda Garrick. Yes. Karen Geibel. Yes. Lori Fisher. Yes. Bennett. Yes. Supervisor Pearson. Yes. Okay. We'll move on to item number two, public hearing resol uh, resolutions uh, for special assessment district. Where I believe it's uh, Markwood for an SAD for a private road in Marshwood. Uh, township received petitions signed by more than 50% of the record owners based on the tax rules of open county constituting more than 50% of the total frontage of the proposed 
SAD requested the amount of $375 per parcel for each of the next five years for the purpose of road maintenance and or snow plowing and may include the improvements of additional gravel stone and a 10% collection fee for the township. Proper notice of the hearing has been published in the Oxford Leader and mailed by first class mail to each property owner within the proposed SAD and determined that the petitions for the uh, Markwood Road and Markwood Court SAD was properly signed by the record owners of 30 parcels with 77.8% <coughs> signing the petition and attach the petition to the board for their determination. Uh, okay, at this time, this is where I open up uh, the public hearing, and this is only where we listen. And um, at this time, I'd like to open up the <coughs> hearing. I think we'll call it at uh, 6.08. And at this time, anybody would like to speak about the uh, uh, special assessment district for Markwood, please just come forward and state your name. Would anybody like to speak on that? Yes, I'm Rod Gullett. I'm the coordinator for the uh, SAD district in, the, in that area that maintains the roads and all that. Um, I'd just like to publicly thank the uh, residents of Markwood for the overwhelming support to uh, pass it this year. Uh, meeting people door to door and it was really nice and explaining what we do and how we do it. And that's all. We certainly do appreciate it because our fire trucks and our ambulances have to get down that road. That certainly makes it easier to get to people when they need us. So. That's great. Okay, I'll ask one more time. Anybody else would like to speak? Not hearing any, I'd like to close uh, the hearing at 6.09, we'll call it. I would entertain a motion. I move the resolution authorizing the SAD for Markwood Road and Markwood Court and pri the private roads in Addison Township. Support. Okay, we have a motion and support. Any further comments from the board? Not hearing that, can we have roll call, please? Yes. Linda Garrett? Yes. Ed Brakefield? Yes. Karen Guilo? Yes. Lori Fisher? Yes. Bennett? Yes. Supervisor Pearson? Yes. That resolution is so moved. Thank you. That's the first hearing. We have one more next month. Okay, <clears throat> then it's done. Okay, move on to item number three public hearing resolution authorizing for Addison Township to apply. For the Oakland County uh, uh, Parks grants. Uh, this is a public hearing and resolution authorization for Edison Township applied for the Oakland County Parks and Recreation. Uh, Edison Township hereby approves participation in the Park Improvement Grant Program and authorizes the uh, submission of a Park Improvement Program application for $85,000 to $95,000. This is for the ADA. Um, Disability that compliant for a walkway access to the new fishing pier at the park at Lake George uh, with up to 47,500 from the park fund as matching funds. Um, at this time, we'll go into the public hearing again. This is where we listen if anybody would like to speak uh, concerning uh, the application for this uh, grant that we're applying for. And I'll open up this meeting, we'll call it at 610. If anybody would like to speak, please come forward. And I'll ask one more time if anybody would like to speak on the grant proposal for the uh, walkway to the, um, the dock on Lake George. Not hearing any. I'd like to close the hearing. We'll call it 611. I'd be ready for a motion. I move the resolution of authorization for Edison Township to apply to the Oakland County Parks and Rec Trailways and Park Improvement Grant programs with the matching funds up to 47500 from Park Fund. Support. Okay, we have a motion and we have support. Any further comments? Not hearing any, can we have a roll call, please? <clears throat> Ed Brakefield? Yes. Karen Geibel? Yes. Linda Garrick? Yes. Lori Fisher? Yes. Bennett? Yes. Supervisor Pearson? Yes. Resolution is so moved. <clears throat> Move on to item number four. Uh, resolution authorizing for the acceptance of a safer grant from the U.S. Department of Homeland Security for staffing recruitment and retention officers. This grant, uh, first of all, will benefit the fire department. And, uh, and I'm going to ask the chief if he just give us a little uh, uh, 
overview of this? Um, so about a year and a half ago, we applied for an AFG grant from um, Homeland Security, and we were actually uh, just uh, told um, about two weeks ago that uh, we did actually indeed get that uh, grant uh, in the amount of $306,000. That is for a full-time person for four years um, to recruit and retain people at our uh, department. Right now, we currently have a part-time guy doing that because we found the benefit in that. And um, they're actually bringing in a few paid on call and, and organizing them. Um, there's lots of issues that come up and that uh, gentleman is actually handling a lot of that. So this grant now um, will actually um, pay for that position. Um, and allow us to have that recruiting and retention office there full time, and then also to be able to go on calls, but those two cannot mesh, right? Per the grant rules, they have to, um, they have to be separate, so to speak, from calls, so that time will be managed um, at the station if the board so accepts the grant. Any questions? No, I think that was a, a very good thing for our community. Uh, especially for the advanced life support. That's, that's 90 some percent of your calls, yes. right? Yes. yes, and to be able to uh, recruit and, and, and retain people, um, what a benefit it would be, for sure. Um, this, this is only a four year, um, so the commitment level for the township, this is only a four year um, uh, program. It does not have to extend from there. And right now, the way our budget is and the way we're looking, um, you know, I can't see totally four years in the future, but I would not keep that position um, unless we find that it's really important and keep it past the four years. So the applicant um, would be told that up front, that is only a four year program. Well, the one thing I'd like to add is the way the township is growing, I suspect that um, in four years, you may need that person. Oh, that might not be a temporary position. Um, anybody have any questions? No questions? Um, and that does bring us up to, um, since 2010, we've been writing grants and really researching and, and being successful. We're at um, $746,000 uh, we've received in the fire department in that 12 years, 14 years uh, time frame. Very good. And you do a good job at the grants, and, and I'm sure you keep doing it because, uh, you know, they have a person in uh, Oxford Township that that's what his main job is. Uh, yeah, we're very fortunate. Um, again, now I don't want to act like I did this because I didn't, but um, that I have some very talented people on our department that, uh, that wrote that, and we've been, um, you know, pretty successful throughout the years. So congratulations to them. Fair. Yeah, I'll be looking for. Uh, motion to authorize the acceptance of the safer grant from the u.s department of homeland security i move that resolution i'll support okay we have a motion and support any further comment from the board not hearing anything we have roll call please ed breakfield yes karen Geibel. yes linda garrett yes lori fisher yes bennett yes supervisor pearson yes resolution is so moved all right, we'll submit and nice. thank you for that. And we'll do that tomorrow and we have to the 14th to uh, actually submit it. So that's perfect. Can I ask a question on this one? Oh, you're a little late. I'll go right ahead. So typically in the ARPA funds and the other grants, we kind of assign who's going to be doing what. So I would imagine fire department's going to be really administering it. And then typically I have to do the notices or you're going to involve yeah, there's um, for signing documents and then Lori does an audit. So would we be following those same type of guidelines of what offices are going to be doing what to administer the grant? Yes, please. Because um, first of all, the actual person that we hire has a report card they have to fill out quarterly and submit those forms to the state. And then we'll have to make sure that the um, every, all the payroll and fringe benefits are um, up to par and, and then submitting those paperwork for reimbursement. And there is no matching funds, by the way, on this. I did put extra in there just because we don't want to spend less than the grant because they don't like that. Um, so we just put a little bit more on the wages in order to be able to um, spend all the money, so to speak. So there will be about, I'm figuring about anywhere from like 8 to 12% um, matching funds, if that's, if that's a word. I guess we're not matching, but extra we'll have to pay. 
out of that 306,000 for that four year program. Sorry, I forgot to ask, uh, mention that earlier. Okay. You know, move on. You might as well just stay right there because I guess the next one is yours also, right? Yes. Number five. <clears throat> Fire Department Expenditure Alerting System with uh, Digicom Global for $23,942.83 from the capital account 213-336-975-000. This is, uh, well, I'm going to ask you to explain this one. For All right, so um, back in 2004, our Station 1 was built uh, without any um, alerting technology. Um, kind of a mistake, um, but over the years, we have kind of used some um, pager and an amp and some crude speakers and ran a, a system through the station. And it's um, been working, but it's not really proper. Um, and with our new radio system coming on, we will not be able to use our little homemade system that we made at the station. Um, so we proposed this um, alerting system would actually have lights on in the bay or in the bedrooms when they, they get up. Um, and the tones will be a lot quieter and ramp up versus just going off. They found a lot of issues with firefighters and the alerting tones going off and, and frightening you, so to speak, and ramping your heart rate up. Uh, they did studies that they were dead, set, um, dead asleep at, you know, 80 um, pulse per minute, beats per minute, I mean, and then your rate will go up to like 140 once that tones go off. So a lot of stress on your heart, especially when you get older. We've gonna put something in the station that eliminates that and actually ramps up slowly. And then the bright uh, white lights, there'll be red lights in the room. So they'll get up and be able to go out and that'll be all timed. So there actually will be a system in place um, besides just alerting us. There is other things that make it a little easier uh, to respond to that call. I have the same thing. I have a snooze alarm. There are two more alarms. I have to keep getting up, and the farther I go, finally, I understand what you're saying. <clears throat> Anybody have any questions on this? Well, what I'm looking for, first of all, is a motion. This is a, um, a one provider again, or a Yeah, and the reason right. why it is only one provider because the other people, um, the other companies, Want a twenty-five hundred dollar to three thousand dollar annual fee to maintain it? Um, we, we can do that. Okay, so, so that's why I, I, we didn't have any other bids on that because I did, but then it came with that annual fee. Okay. With the first, with the first motion, I'd like to make a motion that we waive um, the purchasing ordinances. There is no competitive, no comparative provider that does require an annual subscription. Or Okay, we have a motion and we have support on waiving the or purchasing ordinance. Any comments? Not hearing any, could we have a roll call on that one? Linda Garrick. Yes. Karen Guyville. Yes. Ed Brakefield. Yes. Lori Fisher. Yes. Bennett. Yes. Supervisor Pearson. Yes. And on the second motion I'm looking for is a motion to approve the uh, actual system with uh, Digicom Global for $23,942.83. I'll make that motion that we approve the alerting system, the Digicon Global, as stated. Support? And that's from the capital count, 213-336-975-000, correct? Correct. And we have support? Yes. Motion and support. Any comments? Hearing none, can we have a roll call on that, please? Karen Garland. Yes. Ed Brakefield. Yes. Linda Garrett. Yes. Lori Fisher. Yes. Bennett. Yes. Supervisor Pearson. Yes. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Chief. Okay. Now we're on to item number six, resolution adopting ordinance 23-1, an ordinance for the Town of Madison to amend code of ordinances, uh, appendix A, zoning, article 7A, suburban farms. <clears throat> Public hearing is a... <coughs> held and the planning commission recommends the approval of the text amendment as you may have heard the library purchased a new lot it does not require extensive land um, development like the other uh, piece of property um, this text amendment allows for the library for their use um, uh, legal did find review and minor revisions as highlighted um, any questions Anybody have any questions I'm with the resolution to adopt the 
Ordinance Number 23-1 and Ordinance of the Township of Addison to amend the Code of Ordinance Appendix A, Zoning Article 7A, Suburban Farms. I'll second. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Any further comments from the board? I'm hearing anything from your roll call, please. Karen Geibel? Yes. Linda Garrett? Yes. Ed Brankfield? Yes. Lord Fisher? Yes. Bennett? Yes. Supervisor Pearson? Yes. And that passes. We'll move on to item number seven, which is the addition to the agenda. Um, the Oakland Addison Youth Assistant recommends Linda Moran and Brendan Westenbarger for an appointment on the uh, OAYA board. Um, once our board approves the appointment, their names are forwarded to the county for review and approval. Look for a motion. I'll make that motion. Two good people. I'll support. Okay, we have a motion uh, to approve and uh, appoint Linda Moran and Brendan Westenbarger to the Addison, Oakland, or Oxford Addison Youth Assistant Board. Any comments? Any comments? All those in favor say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? And then that passes. Okay, Addison Township uh, board reports. Anybody uh, have any reports from their boards that they're on? Not hearing any? Uh, any uh, legal reports or communications? No. Everybody must be on vacation in Florida or something. <clears throat> okay, then we'll go to the two hour supervisor's report. Um, <clears throat> First of all, uh, I just wanted to remind everybody, spring cleanup is coming, okay? It's the Saturday before Mother's Day, which is uh, just about a month away now. I'll be going around on the gravel roads, picking up all the couches and uh, kitchen sinks and whatever we find out there, tires and everything. So if anybody knows of anything, please just call into the township and uh, let us know because we'll uh, I'll go and pick them up with some of my volunteers. Um, we are working on the hazmat. Um, everybody, I, we have been receiving some calls that we're not participating with the Oakland County hazmat. The uh, prices have skyrocketed, and um, uh, we believe we found another vendor that will do a one just for Addison Township in the parking lot here. And we're tentatively looking at like uh, the second week of September, right after everybody gets back from Labor Day. So. Just so everybody knows that we're not abandoning anybody, but um, we just think we, we're trying out to see if we can save the township a lot of money and do the same job. So we'll see how that works. Um, Supervisor Pearson, yes. what would be uh, collection dates? Would it be one time a year? Or would it be a monthly? Oh, one, one time a year is what we do. One time. Okay. Um, the, the, county, the county does it four times a year, but the price has skyrocketed, what, up to 12000 and something to now? And we only had 100 cars participate. So we just feel that if we did it once a year, I think that um, we can cut that by maybe two thirds, we're hoping, and do the same job. So, and a lot of people who went to the ones at the county went with two or three cans of paint and they paid $10 is what their fee is, but we paid a hundred and some dollars. So we're thinking that if everybody saves it for a year and brings it, we can save a lot of money. So we'll see how that works, but we're going to give it a try. For road cleanup, uh, Oakland, road, road Commission of Oakland County, they don't do any litter pickup, do they? No. Okay. They, they might dump some stuff, I don't know, yeah. but they don't pick up or correct. <laughs> but, uh, anyways, and I also just wanted to mention, uh, next week uh, we are all going to the Michigan Township Association Convention, which is up in Traverse City, and I wanted to mention that our uh, clerk, Pauline Bennett, will probably be the president. Okay, so I'd like to give her a bit of a round. <laughs> that is a big thing. She's been in, the, you know, the, uh, the, all the townships. How many are there now? Okay. One, 1,200? 1,200 townships in Michigan. And Pauline has been involved in that, and she has moved up through the ranks, which is really, really good for Oakland County and for Addison Township because she spearheads all of the different things that may affect any township or taxpayer in our township. So we always have someone up in Lansing 
who uh, monitors all the bills that are coming out. And so it's a great thing, and uh, she's done a great job, and I know she's going to do a really good job um, in the future. So anyways, our hometown girl, okay? Okay, other than that, <coughs> I will say the roads have been, I know uh, after these last heavy rains, I got a few calls that they're, they're bumpy. And I understand the road commission can't get out the very next day, okay? They have to let the roads dry a little. If they get out the next day, they just turn soupy. But they've done a pretty darn good job so far. And I just had a meeting with the uh, superintendent. And um, everything I've asked them to do, they've done. They've, they've done a lot of ditching, which really saved a lot of intersections that normally would be underwater, okay? And they've done everything that I've asked. I did mention uh, uh, Drainham Road, the post, they're looking at those. And uh, I didn't mention a couple of other things that people have been calling me and they've been very responsive. The um, new superintendent and the new foreman have really been doing a really good job. And I'd like to thank them publicly. That, um, it, it makes a difference when you can have somebody to call and they'll try their best to do it instead of listening to their, I, I don't know, I guess they hire a person to answer the phone there and sometimes they're not the most pleasant people. So it's nice that I have a phone, cell phone right to the people who fix the roads. So I'd like to thank them. Other than that, um, I'm looking for a motion for adjournment. Did you miss public forum? Pardon? Did you miss public forum? Oh, public forum. forum, thank you very much. Public forum, well, anybody in the public like quick? to speak? Yeah. We got everybody from the public here, but nobody wants to speak. Well, chloriding, I thought in, in the north there was a problem with environmental EPA and chloriding. Has that come down to us too? Um, right now, that is not. Um, I talked to the road commission. That's in, uh, has not been implemented yet. So this year, uh, okay. it probably won't affect anything. We don't know what's coming down in the future. And that's coming from Eagle. Eagle, yeah, that's and um, so we don't know what it is, but the, the township now has uh, since um, the road maintenance company, um, they have uh, retired, so yeah. they're no longer doing it. So we have uh, the road commission now contracted to do our chloriding. So if that does come through where they have to follow the guidelines, they'll have to map the whole township wherever there's water that they're not allowed to uh, just chloride. Right. So. Yeah. Okay. That, would, that would apply to pop prop private, like if we try, when we get marked with chloride, we wouldn't be able to do that either, would we? Um, within 100 feet of any water. Yeah, that'd be a problem. Yeah, so there's going to be a lot of chloride, then dust, then chloride, then dust. So, uh, anybody else in public forum? Not hearing any? Okay, now I'm asking for an adjournment. I'll make a motion we adjourn. Second. And I second. All those favor say aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? Thank you very much. Uh, next meeting is going to be May 15th. That'll be the second reading for Markwood.